one thing to know what the globalists are planning more than a decade out. It's another thing to live to see it unfolding. I marvel. And I know many of you are marveling as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday, the final day of July 2013. And we're going to be here for the next three hours broadcasting worldwide. Steve Jolly, who I had a chance to meet out in the UK, is known as the CCTV man. And he wears big uh, CCTV cameras on his head, paper mache. And he is single-handedly caused a national debate about it and had uh, federal and local courts rule recently that indeed, especially the license plate reading cameras, are a big brother invasive unconstitutional uh, system in the United Kingdom. The most surveilled big brother society on the planet terra firma today. He'll be popping in for 30 minutes at the start of the next hour. Uh, and then, of course, Leanne McAdoo is going to be coming on the broadcast dealing with the real depths of child and, and, and underage sex slave trafficking. Because we've seen in the last few days uh, big news articles out uh, dealing with sweeps that have been done across the country uh, with these uh, underage prostitutes, some as young as 12 years old. And the FBI and others have gone and uh, arrested 150 plus disgusting degenerate pimps that need to have their brains blown out. But of course that won't happen. They'll be let out of jail uh, quickly. Hope somebody beats their brains out in prison. Uh, but the whole point is, I'm sorry, I have to control myself. The point is, I wish they would get the death penalty, uh, is that it's much worse than that. And most of the government is against this type of stuff, but they're compartmentalized. There are groups at the top involved this has come out before in the really bad stuff of little children, including snuff films. And I saw an article today, in fact, I should add that to the stack, where, Hom where Homeland Security uh, high-level uh, director, deputy director, was caught uh, passing along sadomasochistic torture of small children. This is exactly the type of stuff the New World Order is into. So we're going to be looking at that at the start of the third hour today for a couple of segments and then david knight who's been really helping me honcho uh, kind of uh, try to process the 600 plus entries to the operation paul revere contest we announced uh, third place monday second place yesterday first place today will be announced with some other honorable mentions uh, in the third hour and that is a grand prize of 100,000 federal reserve notes or so-called dollars uh, and so we're going to be uh, doing that. And then in the next few days or next week, I'll try to get the first place winner on the radio show. We're going to get, uh, we've already gotten third place in the nightly news. We're going to get second place in the nightly news tonight. Uh, just amazing, uh, amazing folks. Uh, so you can all find all that at Infowars.com forward slash Paul for Paul Revere. If, you, if it fancies you, if, you, if it if, it, if you wish, you can put Infowars.com forward slash Paul Revere, and that will take you there as well. I will also add that I was up here till about 9 o'clock last night working on Obama Deception 2, and it is a doozy. Uh, really, I haven't made a film myself in three and a half years, as everyone knows. I've produced a couple others, and uh, it is just the mega load of information, and I... I, I it, it's hard to leave the office, even though I want to go home and play uh, Yahtzee with my children and uh, you know, do watercolors with them or watch a nature show. It's very sad when I'm here at night, 9 o'clock, my son calls and goes, Daddy, you going to come home? I'm like, I'm sorry, son, you have no future if I don't do this. But we are now in the locked-in phase of working six, seven days a week, 18 hours a day as we chest ate Obama Deception 2. And I now have the full title yet to be released, but it is a powerful weapon that we're in there in the forge, forging with our hammers and the flame of truth. 
I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cysts, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this July 31st, 2013 Wednesday Worldwide Transmission. We have three guests joining us. We have a man who beat the British government when it came to the surveillance cameras reading license plates. Steve Jolly will be joining us. I had a chance to meet him at Bilderberg coverage a few months ago in Albion, Britannia. Then Leanne McAdoo will join us to expose the whitewash that the federal government's trying to stop the trafficking in women and children as sex slaves. So we're going to be breaking that down as well. And David Knight will pop in in the last 30 minutes of this worldwide transmission today to announce the $100,000 winner uh, that I have chosen. And most of my crew concurred that it was in the second or first place. Uh, I'll tell you right now that uh, the maker of uh, American Drone, who won second place, $10,000 prize, probably would have beaten the first place winner that will be announced, maybe. 50-50, I'd probably have to flip a coin, it's that close. With his film, The Futurist, that uh, we've put up on my YouTube channel, that I suggest everyone see that we posted on InfoWars.com yesterday. It, it's really powerful. Uh, but I want to tell you, uh, a dream revered, we want to talk to you soon and work with you as soon as Obama Deception 2 is done. Uh, in uh, October, it's coming out in early November. We want to talk to uh, really the, the, the top 10 that we're trying to select internally. Uh, we're going to try to talk to you to produce films with us. Uh, so, again, um, it, was, it was very hard to pick whether it would be Political Earth or A Dream Revered. And... Uh, Regardless, though, I just, it, it, I start thinking about it. We spent a lot of time. I don't know if I'll do another one of these contests, though, because getting 600 entries has been very successful. It has bogged us down the last few months. It, it has really, and I, and I knew it would be a monumental task, but it has been, it has been really uh, intensive watching 600 videos uh, here for the crew and, 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 and then honing them down to 300 and then 200 and 100 and then 50 and then 35 and then the top 10 or so but uh, that now is completed today and when we pay everybody out the hundred fifteen thousand dollar in prizes and then we move on to the real game plan promoting the, all the films that, that hit every different angle you can imagine uh, to wake people up and then trying to uh, then work with uh, some of the filmmakers there uh and, and and you know let's say maybe you were in the top 100 or so uh, but you did good reporting. Well, look for us maybe to try to hire you as a part-time auxiliary uh, reporter. I mean, I'm just looking for the raw talent that's out there in humanity. That's what my gut and my spirit and my intellect tells me to do, and that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to do. So that's coming up in the last uh, 25, 30 minutes of the transmission today. Uh, that said, ladies and gentlemen, I got up today and saw a Daily Caller article. Uh, with the headline, Attention Alex Jones, get ready for behavioral insight team. And then they make a joke about me in here, kind of, but say, oh, it is what Alex said was coming. The conspiracy theorist, look, mainstream news, Fox News, MSNBC, you name it, 
are all reporting that they're going to hire trendies as front people with government funding for every niche group out there to push basically the surveillance state, the tyranny. Now imagine, I love how mainstream media posing as, as, as libertarian media, and they do some good work, so I don't want to be too mean, but they're always attacking me. So I mean, turnabout's fair play at some level about how they're telling me about it. Uh, in fact, I saw an article last week going, oh look, Alex Jones will want to see this. They're launching blimps with face scanning cameras and ground penetrating radar uh, over major cities to watch you. They launched those back in the 1990s as a test and officially launched them in 2002. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's like I'm more discredited as everything I say comes true. And they have to make jokes about all of it. Hey, let me tell you something. The joke's on you, bud, and me too, if we don't do something about this. Because let me tell you something. The other stuff I've been warning you about, it's all true too. There were mainstream news articles in the last week about, yeah, 98 million Americans did get a deadly cancer virus put in them. And that was in the first phase. And then a couple hundred million more in the decades after that. And yeah, tens of millions probably died from it. Uh, SV40, but you know what, so what? Let's move on to how scary Al-Qaeda is. You got double the chance of honeybees killing you each year, but and the government runs them too, but isn't it scary? Yeah, we gotta have men with black uniforms and armored vehicles and face scanning cameras and listen to all your phone calls because of them. Yeah, right. I mean, you're not in Kansas anymore, folks. I'm talking to the establishment people that think they're, they're gonna be on the winning team. Nobody's a winner in this deal. Every time people think they can cheat and bring in evil because they want to dominate everybody else in some you know, hyper-psychopathic dominance-based mania, some type of psychopathic narcissism, hyper-psychopathic control freakism, coupled with a mass Stockholm syndrome, Overton window moved to hell. I mean, I don't know what to do here. But they've got the Social Security Administration, the Pentagon, the Department of Justice, all the major media networks, financial taxpayer money. For, and News Corp is too, by the way. They get federal money, that's on record, to push carbon taxes and crud in their entertainment shows, not Fox News. That's the niche to keep conservatives on a reservation. But then you've got all the other anti-gun, anti-family, pro-torture, pro-secret arrest, anti-male role model, pro-carbon tax garbage on Fox TV and Fox movies. And I've dealt with Fox Searchlight, where they came to Richard Linkletter and said, we're not gonna, we're not gonna distribute this as much, this, this uh, Philip K. Dick movie Alex Jones is in, yours truly, uh, produced with Tommy Pallotta, uh, if, uh, if uh, you show that cop blowing somebody's brains out. And Rick Linklater said, I'm not going to change it. That's the kind of stuff you never hear about. He probably doesn't want that public. They never told me not to tell anybody, but I sat there hearing about this. We're not going to promote that movie uh, if, you, if you show, it was a bunch of other stuff they wanted cut, and Rick Linklater said, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to rush and get it done, because if you do it late, then they take the final cut control away. I mean, that's an honorable person right there, ladies and gentlemen. And they wanted some stuff I consulted on taken out of there. I was, I'm was i more proud of being a consultant on a Scanner Darkly uh, that's got a bunch of big stars in it than I, I am being in it. But um, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. That's got Winona Ryder, Woody Harrelson in it, Robert Downey Jr., Keanu Reeves. Well, I tell you, Winona Ryder is a very interesting in person. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've talked about that. I've already dealt, ladies and gentlemen, I've already dealt with my, my whole media operation for 18 years. I, I've experienced the censorship, the manipulation, the people fighting back against it, I know. Now, most people in Hollywood just say, I'll do whatever you say, and they go, well, instead of you having a $10 million budget, and basically all those stars being in the film for nothing, I think they got paid like $30,000 a piece or something because they wanted to be in it, instead of $20 million a piece like they normally get, or $10 million a piece. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. is what the highest paid actor out there. I think he made like $500 million last year. 
My whole point here is, ladies and gentlemen, that that's the type of control going on. Most people in Hollywood say, we'll do whatever you say. And they go, $300 million budget, Department of Defense is funding 100 mil. Boom. 100 mil, taxpayer, bam. Because they've got the printing presses, ladies and gentlemen. And they're buying up all the talent. They came to me 12, 13 years ago, 10 years ago, seven years ago through media executives and said, how'd you like $10 million a year? You play ball with us, you get it. And that's what the general naive public doesn't get, ladies and gentlemen. They don't understand how real this is. And you better figure out how real it is right now. Right now. Because the end agenda of this does not go to a very nice place. Okay, uh, where to start here, uh, speaking about media propaganda. Okay, let me just give you the news from today. They've announced, as you know, all three, first it was one last week, then two, now three. All three of the big control networks are going to produce Hillary Clinton biopics, worship fest lies. And let me tell you, this stuff has an effect on not the, so much the simple-minded, but people that are nice. They know how to program them. My grandmother, who's a very smart woman, almost 90 years old, I'm over at her house um, Saturday morning, 6 a.m. I went over there to see her, bring her breakfast to surprise her because my uncle come into town for his birthday. And I go knock on the door about 6.30, and I go in, and I, and I hadn't seen her since I got back from England. I brought her some teacups and stuff with the royal family on it as a joke. And she got it and thought how sweet it was. And, oh, my gosh, she loves Queen Elizabeth II and all this stuff. Wonderful, smart Christian woman because she saw movies about her and was brought up that she's a wonderful, dignified lady. And no matter what we told her, she wouldn't wake up or listen. And it's the same thing with these Hillary Clinton movies. And, and believe it, it's getting her ready to run for president. That state-run media where your tax money, I mean, did you, you do know that billions of banker bailout money, your money went to General Electric and others. And there's only four companies that control 90% of world media. Okay, I mean, you, you know that, right? And so the, uh, all these companies get taxpayer money, these big ones, and then they put it into this stuff to sit there shoveling propaganda at you. And when we come back, here's MSN's headline. Don't be alarmed. It's all condescending. But the government is trying to control you. Oh, the CIA is going to be involved in your city now with your kids. Government knows best. White House creates nudge squads to shape behavior. And then they have articles making fun of me because I've been proven right. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now, that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. You're thinking like a fool because all it takes is you and I. And the fortune that I am seeking is liberty in my time and in the future. I want a society based on truth and justice and what you build and what you stand for, not how good a BSer and liar you are. Not how delusional you are. See, the corrupt groups that get control throughout history always follow the same pattern. It varies slightly, but it goes the same direction. And they are basically making every federal and state agency secret police and giving them counterinsurgent spy training, propaganda training, 
But all it does is fully discredit all these people as they go out because then they just start all lying to each other and, and, and they're just a joke. But, but see, the movies, the culture, it's sycophantic. Wear a black uniform, wear a black mask, raid people's houses, set up checkpoints. That's like the new culture. Not rockets to the moon, not Marilyn Monroe, not science, not technology, not the highest test scores, not wealth, not building construction projects, not beautiful art. It's just a bunch of thugs standing around acting tough who don't have a brain cell in their little noggins. That's the culture. Not breaking the sound barrier, not splitting the atom, not cyclotrons, not curing cancer. No, it's giving people cancer. It's giving them GMO. It's dumbing them down. It's poisoning them. It's manifesting a fraud ahead of the singularity where we won't be needed anymore. And already in China at Foxconn and all the other big factories are putting in the orders or have already got delivery of millions of robots a month to replace the billion, 300 million Chinese. And all the establishment white papers and publications that are public, because they think you're so stupid, it's public, say that when they get done and put the robots in place, they're only meant to supplant you so you're not needed. So they have a automated combat system of autonomous drones and ground drones and surface water drones and underwater sub drones and, and, and smart dust drones and nanotech drones and the minute it's in place and the actuaries and the war game show that they've got a very high probability of winning, they're going to launch a Skynet attack on any countries or groups or people that they haven't already wiped out with bioweapon attacks. And I just want everybody to know that's what this is and that's where all this is going. And you can laugh all you want and not read Club of Rome documents and not read futurist public stuff out of Ray Kurzweil and all the big globalist meetings they're having where they talk about how once they merge with the machines, you're going to be like a bug to them and they're going to sit on you. You're not even going to be a concern. Now, again, whether that happens or not, they think that, and that's the crazy stuff the ruling establishment is pushing and building right now. Now, I guess acting trendy isn't that important anymore, huh? But see, they want to make you trendy. And the White House is announcing, <clears throat> hiding in plain view, every federal agency is going to launch models and trendies, actuaried, again, typecast and niched down to each little group on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere else, and on TV, paid for tax money, to tell you how to behave and tell you what to do in a giant peer pressure move. Now, you've got to totally reject it and realize anything coming out of MSN is your enemy. Any message they sell you in these packaged news programs, sitcoms, and dramas is 100% meant to screw you and your family completely over. Now, Let's go ahead and get into these current articles right here. Don't be alarmed to see the condescension, but the government's trying to control you. Big Brother isn't only watching you via creepy domestic drones. See, oh, just a f last year there weren't drones. I was lying. <gasps> oh, oh. He's also trying to influence your behavior. Behavioral insights team or behavior modification, packaging, behavior placement, or affectionately the nudge squad. <laughs> Uh, the Tides Foundation and others, is a White House experiment in finding suitable ways to get citizens to change their behavior for your own good. And it goes on to talk about, it's by Cass Sunstein. Oh, the one that said they would pose as alternative media and attack the leaders? Alex Jones is a fed. Alex Jones is a fed. All day right out of the White House. We're going to come back and tell you more about that and how the Pentagon and the CIA are going to run your family. Viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review and more coming in the month of June to the Info War.
You're like, oh, I don't care if the government knows what I'm doing. Well, what if it's Nazi Germany and they want to come hunt you down and put you in a forced labor camp? Oh, then it's not a good idea. See, there's a reason we have this Bill of Rights and Constitution. And as it goes out the door, all hell breaks loose and our prosperity disappears like we were on a spaceship and opened a pod bay door. And then coming up, I want to get into Bank of England helped in sale of looted Nazi gold. <gasps> really? You don't mean that, BBC reports? That's ancient news, but they're now telling us about it. They'll probably get a Pulitzer Prize or something. Uh, and continuing, uh, the Hollywood Reporter uh, is reporting right here the chilling history of how Hollywood helped Hitler. <gasps> oh, you mean Time Magazine saying what a wonderful man he was? in 1939 and, and 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 Hitler was told by US intelligence groups and British intelligence groups to launch attacks on Poland and then on France and 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 others and Danzig before that and of course Austria and then was set up again I don't think Hitler was a good guy it's just it's declassified folks that he was created funded and then, uh, just like Saddam Hussein, and then double-crossed. Saddam Hussein was told by the U.S. government on record to attack Iran and for seven years funded. He was told to nerve gas the Kurds. And the CIA was there with weather reports telling him when to spray it and how so it wouldn't blow back. I'm going to be getting into that. Again, because it's not the U.S. government. It's the big offshore mega banks, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Dutch royalty, the British royalty, the same globalists running the whole show. They go and create the Muslim extremists and fund them. They go and create Al-Qaeda. They go and create Saudi Arabia. Look it up. There's a movie about it called Lawrence of Arabia. It's a true story, but a whitewash. Go watch it. I think it won an Academy Award. Several. The point is, go find out about this, ladies and gentlemen. They create the Muslim radicals. They create Hitler. On record, U.S. government, British government put Lenin in power in 1917, 1918, and in a five-year war, propped them up against the white Russians, the pro-Czarist, to make sure that happened. Uncle Joe Stalin was called our uncle in our media for decades. How loving he was, how we needed to be under people like Stalin. Stalin, the man of steel. Oh, and two articles, the chilling history of how Hollywood helped Hitler. <gasps> really? And who were the people? About half of them in Hollywood. If you read these articles, Jewish people helped Hitler. Wow, wow. wonder what that's all about. Very interesting, like the Rothschilds. And then another one, Bank of England helped sale of looted Nazi gold. Because, folks, it's the globalists create the crisis, offer the solution. They, sh they ship in the drugs and then arrest you or your family when you use them and put you in the prisons they own. See, I said I'm going to get to that, and then I just start getting into it right now. I'm going to be breaking that down for you, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, in my film from, from 2005, Martial Law... 911 rise of the police state. I tell you that the media is being funded and run by the government, show documents. I tell you they've already launched blimps that are tethered to surveil you and, and look right through your walls. Give all the documents. Uh, I say that Hollywood and the British and U.S. banks created Hitler, and I show all the documents and proof before it was in the London Guardian two years later, and they said they broke it. They didn't break it. It was in mainline Nuremberg documents that came out in 1946 and 47. This stuff, I've interviewed Anthony Sutton, folks. I've interviewed the congressional committee heads who were there when all this came out. I've interviewed staffers who were involved in the McCormick-Dickstein committee back in the 1930s. That particular lawyer is dead now. Just like I interviewed Admiral Moore, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, who was there when the president came over the radio and ordered the Mediterranean fleet to stand down at the USS Liberty while it was being attacked for over two hours. I mean, I, I just, it's a treasure trove of who we've interviewed. And I mean, I've interviewed not just Admiral Moore, but the other admirals, fleet admirals that were there. Was it flag admirals, the one out front? And, I, and I've interviewed the... Rear admirals that were here in the communiques. I mean, I've literally interviewed on the USS Liberty alone 
probably more than 10 admirals, uh, the captain before he died, McGonagall, uh, the first mate, the doctor, the just, I mean, I know everything about that. I've interviewed dozens of people who heard LBJ when they refused the order of the Secretary of Defense McNamara to turn the jets back. They had aircraft carriers just 60 miles away when the president came on and said, that GD ships go into the bottom, and that's an order. We're blaming that on Egypt. This is an operation with Israel to false flag. Now you follow my orders and you stand down. I just quoted what the admirals heard. Imagine in the ready room, you think Benghazi's bad? Ordering a stand down so they could kill the ambassador? I've interviewed all the people that were there and heard the president say, that ship's going to the GD bottom. Well, guess what? The most highly decorated ship in U.S. history. That, that got hit by torpedoes, th thousands of, of rounds of heavy caliber machine gun, hundreds of rockets. They could not sink it. And so those guys got back to port and were told, you will be court-martialed and executed under national security if you ever talk to anybody about what happened. I've interviewed the people that were marched on the aircraft carrier, and the, and the admiral came out and said, tell me your story. They told the story, and he said, you will be executed. They said, we will kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. If you ever tell anybody, I've interviewed the people that were there when the admiral said, we will kill you. You will be killed. Just like SEAL Team 6 is being killed, ladies and gentlemen. How many of the SEAL Team 6 had the fake bin Laden Raider dead? Almost all of them. And the other ones are keeping quiet, because so, that's what you do for America. So you can be killed next, and you'll all be killed. You'll all be murdered. USA! Yeah, USA! 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 USA. Yeah, just chant some USA as they kill the SEAL Team 6 guys. Blow up their helicopters, throw them out of helicopters, run over them, shoot them in the back of the head. Hell, they're probably sending retired SEALs that have been sheep dipped to kill them. That's what you do in America. You kill Navy SEALs for the foreign USA. banks. USA! 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 I mean, this is all a load of bull, ladies and gentlemen. Our country's been taken over by foreign banks, and they think you're such a joke that you won't wake up and do anything about it. I told you two weeks after the helicopter blew up. How long ago did the helicopter blow up killing 23 SEALs? They, they never. It was almost two years ago now. And, I, and then I talked to a family friend who is a Navy SEAL. We know him through his father, but known the Navy SEAL for over a decade before he was in the Navy. My dad knew him back when he was in high school. And they said, no, we know they blew up the helicopter. Some of the guys think Al-Qaeda got a bomb on there, but there's no way they could. And they never put us all in a Chinook like that. And we weren't going on a rescue mission. It turned out that was all fake. So they think it's a setup by Obama. Well, of course. You, what are we doing? Oh, what's the mission? Just you're, gonna, you're going somewhere. <laughs> and, I mean, I shouldn't laugh about this. It's so sick. And then they just fly it out and blow it up. You're going where Pat Tillman went. He died charging an Al-Qaeda machine gun nest, and those seals all died. Those SEALs all died going to fight Al-Qaeda and rescue and rescue Army Rangers. Mm -hmm. The truth is there was a bomb on board. That's known. And the entire Navy knows it. The Navy's freaked out about it. It blew up, but they survived. The helicopter made it to the ground. And when they got out, guess what happened? They were surrounded by waiting groups at long distance, killing them with 50 caliber rifles. And the, you know who has 50 caliber rifles, don't you? And by the way, you know they're going to kill the contractors that killed the SEALs, right? You know you're all dead too, morons. That's what I love about all this. Gee, you're going on a mission to make sure no SEALs escape from the fake Bin Laden raid, and then you're going to kill Navy SEALs because you're a tough guy contractor because you wear Under Armour and Stand around when they're re when they're leading Bradley Manning around. You're a you're a contractor above the special forces. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, just fools. You can come kill me. I've already won. I never sold out to evil. I didn't submit to lies. I I've I've maintained my family name. I've been honorable. You people aren't just evil. You're stupid. And that's exactly what Michael Hastings said. He said it's time to stop not releasing so-called national security stuff when it's government crime. It's time for the press to declare war on the corrupt groups that have taken over, and they blew his car up. They blew his car up. 
And now it does look like the real surveillance footage has been released. He's driving along, as the witnesses say, boom, you see a flash, then it goes off the road. And that a conscious decision has been made to bring in pure evil and eradicate liberty in this country and re-educate what's left of this nation. And it's in the army manuals, it's all documented, it's all on record. And now they're everywhere going, yeah, we're going to send PSYOPs in to to the public schools to make sure your kids go along with the agenda of anti-gun. That's in the news today. And we're gonna have the Social Security Administration carry out psychological warfare ops on the public. And we're gonna have every other federal agency do it. And we're watching you. And we're going to finance all media. And we're gonna buy off all the bloggers. They've already bought them off. I know all sorts of people that got paid and started attacking me and lying about me. And you know, saying vote for Obama and you know, stuff like that. I mean, it's so obvious. I mean, if I've been offered money before, people go, why don't you tell us who offered it? You, you never get news again or offers. If you, people say, this is a meeting, we'd like to hire you, talk about you coming to work for this media outfit. You know, th this is off record. They even have you sign non-disclosure agreements. And then if you ever go and talk about something like that, then it, it's, uh, you know, then you never get offers or info again. I mean, it's very simple. My word is my, my, my bond. I've got to get, when I get emotional, I've got to get better about not blurting things out. Um, last week, I, I talked about how Judge Andrew Napolitano, you know, was told by News Corps, don't go back on Alex Jones's show. And then I was told by another executive separately that like, look, we know what's going on, we're awake. But, you know, Eric Holder could just come arrest a bunch of people at News Corps, and that's being held over our head. Not within concerns with trying to hire me. That was just a little side issue. Uh, I want to make that make sure that's clear. It, it just, and I told you two or three years ago they they're going to threaten to arrest uh, uh, Rupert Murdoch, and then that came out last week in the news. They're looking at arresting him, Holder, for the supposed phone hacking and stuff, which I went on. Certainly, of course, they knew about it. That's standard procedure in media at that level. That's what Murdoch got recorded saying. He's being shut up, folks. He's got intelligence ops all over him. They've got Navy SEALs, F former FBI guys guarding all the top Fox people. Glenn Beck's got like a security team of 20 people on average. I mean, these people are totally whacked out, totally scared, totally have let the stuff get to them. And it's not that Murdoch's even some good guy. He's just been playing a double game. And now these mafias are trying to knock each other off. You know, I told you that the Navy SEALs thought they were killed, their families, and now we reprint me that. We had it on InfoWars, but I want to read his name. Now one of the fathers of one of the SEAL Team 6 guys that died, who, by the way, was in on the bin Laden raid, has gone public saying, oh, yeah, the SEALs think they blew the helicopter up and killed them out there, and then it was a setup, and the mission wasn't real. What did I tell you a year and a half ago when that happened? What did I tell you? What did I tell you within a few? I told you that exact thing, folks. I don't make this stuff up. You know, I said, why don't you come on the air? And they said, are you kidding? I'd be arrested immediately for even talking about operations. And all they would say was, is, yeah, no, they think there was a bomb on board, and then they were waiting for them when, the, when there were survivors. And that's what the family of SEAL Team 6 members are now saying. And that's the press conference they had. Yeah, yeah, that's the one with uh, Billy Vaughn, the father of Navy SEAL. But, but yeah, Aaron Vaughn. But there's another one from last week where we're actually... We should try to get them on, by the way. That's a different family than the ones I know. We should try to get the guy that was on Savage on here. They had him as a guest. Uh, that's the father. I want. That's a different father. The point is, is they're all starting to go public about this. And, uh, you know, the answer is the Navy SEALs, it's like Private Lynch. They, they killed five members of her team in a week. Shot them in the head, ran them over disappeared, drowned, because they were going public saying Private Lynch cowered in fear in the truck convoy and, and at the base and at the hospital. Jerry Bruckheimer was involved in the production uh, of the rescue. That's BBC, by the way. Bruckheimer was on sat phone with the special forces when they went into the hospital that the Iraqis hadn't been in three days. They'd already been there, checked it, said, we're coming back to get you. They shot a whole production to, like, say, women in the military, women fight better than men. It was a PR rollout. It was a PSYOP. And the guys were saying, it's just not true. We fought the Iraqis and these other men died and Lynch hid in fear. Well, they just went and killed them. And I said publicly, I said to Lynch, and I, I had connections to her, I said, they're going to kill you next to say you're the big hero if you don't go public. Two days after she gave a press conference crying and said she was told a lie by the Pentagon, she cowered in fear. Yeah, there it is. Father of SEAL team member claims his son was set up. Infowars.com. Charles Strange.
the father of one of the 22 SEALs, I was 23, killed when their helicopter was shot down in Afghanistan. Insurgents in August, yeah, shot down by insurgents. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even the father says it's bull, but the article even goes along with insurgents. Uh, and it's just, it's just like amazing. This is the type of stuff we're dealing with here. And I'm not trying to scare you. We're already under this thing. It's only going to get worse. We've got to admit it and say no. But here's MSN uh, today. Don't be alarmed, but the government is trying to control you. And it goes on to say, Cass Sunstein is running a program with federal agencies to psyop and lie to the public and, and confuse the public. Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, here's another one. Government knows best. White House creates nudge squad to shape behavior. Hiring trendies. Fox News. Michelle, oh, there, oh, look, the nudge squad. It looks like one of Barack Obama's daughters. You know, the, you know, the proper trending issue, you know, because she's part black. She can't lie. You got to do what she says. And it says federal nudge squad led by 20-something wonder kids gears up to change America's behaviors for our own good daily mail. This is just one of the squads. Federally funded. Like, you're, you'll be on TV and a movie star. And all the shows, if you just agree and go, it's time to turn our guns in. It's good to have our bank accounts taken by the government. It's good for everybody to be on food stamps. It's good to take your shots, take your Gardasil. And everyone says, yeah. Yeah, I love state-run media. <laughs> I'm dead already, and I'm not worried about it. Just all you that serve the system, I feel real tough because you're part of it. All these agencies now, everybody's a secret agent. You know, who's going to build? Who's going to work? Who's going to be a father, a mother? Who's going to be wholesome? Who needs that? You can all just be secret agent men. You can all be psych warfare chiefs. Who You, you are the most brainwashed of them all. You're idiots. Oh, but look at the nudge teams, the young trendies. Oh, and look at the satisfied smile. Oh, you're 20 and you're a PSYOP commander. Oh, it's so cool. Maybe you'll end up like the Navy SEALs someday, too. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, it's so trendy. They are announcing a full-on open mobilization of just CIA and spies and scum just coming out of the woodwork. And, and we'll be downtown with our reporters in business suits just doing interviews on the street corner. And a guy will walk up in a suit out of a bank and go, I'm calling the cops on you. And you're like, well, why? And they go, you know why. You're not allowed to be on the street talking about this. And then they smile like it scares us and run off. And then five minutes later, the cops drive by looking like, oh, my gosh, there's people on the street in America with a camera. Oh, it's so evil. Let's call the police on them. We're such secret agent men. Meanwhile, geoengineering's killing the ozone layer. There's just mass extermination worldwide going on. But you've been taught as part of InfraGuard. And clergy response team, oh, you thought you were just a Baptist preacher. Now you're a spy. Now you meet with feds. Oh, you're so sexy. I thought you were a traitor. I thought you were a scumbag. I thought you were a joke. I thought you were a collaborator with a foreign takeover. You people are idiots. Idiots. And I'm talking to the millions of nobodies whose job is to go around playing the part of secret agent man. I told you. About three years ago, my dad, and I've had him on the show about this, was approached by a patient he'd had for like 15 years, and he treated the guy's mother, and he goes, yeah, we're recruiting all the dentists to spy on their patients. And I go, he's like, for what? Just everything they do, political ideas, blah, 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 and you can get paid and come to this meeting. And then my dad found out they were talking to all the other dentists in town, and most of them just put on the suit and go in and go, yes, sir, I, I tell you everything my patients do. I, and, and you're going to be anti-gun, too. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir, I, I, I used to be pro-gun, but now that I'm a secret agent, let me, uh, let me, I mean, it, it is a total Red Dawn takeover. With everyone just being secret agent men. Yeah, against America, and you're a pack of scum. Oh, my gosh. By the way, the new magazine is in, available at InfoWarsStore.com. You can get them in groups of 10 up to 100 at cost. It's the divide and conquer issue, how they use race, how they're trying to engineer a coming race war. It's got an amazing cover. See it at InfoWarsStore.com. I'll leave it as a surprise for radio listeners. And you can also find all the best uh, incredible supplements at InfoWarsHealth.com as well. And your purchases fund this operation. Now you can watch the InfoWars Nightly News streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.